Let's add some text onto a side of a building in Camtasia 2021. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media, showing you how to create profitable content. All right, so let me show you this pretty cool tutorial. So oftentimes I see things. I see commercials, I see movies, I see things, and I think, can I do this in Camtasia? And that's how a lot of these tutorials happen is because I see something and then I try to create it. So I saw somewhere that they put text on the side of a building and it had movement and it looked really cool. So let me show you the example that I created here. So I'm just gonna go back to the beginning and I'm gonna press play. And it's just gonna stay there for like five seconds or so. And then it's going to swoosh out. That's pretty cool, right? So let's break it down. Break down the elements. One, you need an image of a side of a building. And you wanna get one with the correct angling because if you just get like an image of just a side of a building, it's not gonna have the cool effect, right? It, you'll still have it slide in and the swoosh sound and everything, but you really want it to have the angle and you'll understand when we work with the text why that is. I found this photo and you can get photos from any stock footage sites. This one was from Adobe Stock because we have a subscription to it and I liked it. One, I liked the texture on the building, right? It's got like these gray, if you look really closely, it's got like a gray tiny circle. So it's got texture and there's the angle happening, right? It's going like that. And then for the text, if we go back to the example here, I chose some pretty fun, big, chunky text that also has some texture. So if you don't know how to install new fonts onto Camtasia, because this one did not come with Camtasia, I had to find it and install it, I will have a tutorial video linked down in the description below on how to install new and free fonts into your Camtasia. Now I chose this specific font, which is called KG Summer Sunshine. It's one of my favorite fonts. It's super fun. It's different and I think it looks cool. So you want to choose like a big wide font because if you choose a, a super thin one, I don't think it's going to look as cool. All right, so let me show you how I did the text because this is gonna be the majority of the effect. If you don't get this correct, it's not gonna look as smooth. This text, you, we had to actually change the angles of everything. This is what the text looks like normally. Normally on the screen. And let me actually enhance the size of this image. So normally, this is what the text looks like on the screen. Nowhere near the same effect, right? It, this text looks like it's on the side of the building. This is just flat on the screen. What we actually had to do was when you head over to when you click on the text, you can see that you can change the rotation of the x y and z axis of your text if we go back to this this has zero rotation of the x y and z now what you want to do is you want to play around with the rotations so if we go back you can see we were at 22 minus 39 and minus 4.6 so all i did was click on the text start with the z axis and go to the up and down arrows and start playing around. So you can see now that it's starting to rotate like this and we want to get the angle in first, right? So, oh, this is a little too much. We'll go maybe, you want to match the angle of the building, right? So on the original, it was 23 and this is 27. So let's go down to 20 three and then the next one was minus 39 so we'll go to the y-axis and we'll go press the down arrow which is going to make us go in the minus and it was minus 39 and you can see it's bringing it 
kind of like forward like this and you can see it's it looks like it's it's being more attached to the building right so it was 39 something like that you can see it's already looking pretty good and the last one was minus 4.6 so we'll go to the x-axis press down minus 4.6 and that's looking pretty similar. I did move this up a little bit more, something like that. And you can see it's already looking like it's on, attached to the side of the building, right? So next, what we wanna do is add some behaviors, which are some pre-made up animations slash movements from Camtasia. So the one that I did was the sliding effect. So I'm gonna add the sliding effect onto the text only. And you can see that it already slides in. And then I want to alter the during and the out. In is already fine, I'm okay with that. During, I actually want off because I don't want any fading effect. And out, the sliding. So if we go to the end here, it's gonna slide to the right to the left so I'm actually good with that so I want it to slide in and then be on the screen and then slide out I don't want it to go back the other direction that it came in so I actually like the direction that it's going and the last piece to add that's going to tie in everything is audio is the sounds and you might be thinking like oh it already looks cool like that it does look cool already like that but sound really adds more to the element and I'll play it for you without sound and then with sound. So this is without sound. Okay, without sound. It already showed up on the screen and now it's about to go off the screen. Okay, cool looking, still cool looking. But now let me play for you the original with the audio sound. Right, and then we'll go here, play it out. You can feel it, right? You can feel it. It's, it's a much more cooler experience. How we got that is I get these audio sounds from these stock footage sites. And in this one in particular, I got from artlist.io. They have a whole bunch of audio sounds. It is a paid subscription, but I also use their music for vlogs and things like that. And I got the audio sound and I put it in my library here. And you can see that I have a lot collected. And I tiled my, my library folder, audio files, and I put all my audio sounds here because these are the ones that I use frequently. The small, short, deep swoosh, that's the one that I use quite frequently in these tutorial videos. It's a, it's a nice transitional sound. I'm just gonna drag this down here and play it for you. And then see it starts to move, so I actually don't add it right to the end. I'm gonna add it to when it starts to move. So maybe around here. I'm just playing around with it and if you guys want to check out Artlist the link for that will be down in the description below I really like using them and so there you go and so that's how I created this cool effect if you like these kinds of videos and you want to learn Camtasia fast I highly recommend you take my Camtasia course it's got over 70 lectures 9 plus hours if you want to fast track your Camtasia learning and learn this and be an expert at Camtasia, take my course, the link is down in the description below. Smash the thumbs up button if you thought this was cool and I'll see you in the next video.